Hello, and welcome to a dissection safety video. In this video, I'll review the tools you may use in a typical dissection, as well as three simple steps to follow to ensure that your dissection is both fun and safe. First, the tools you may use in a typical dissection. In a typical dissection kit, you may find a fixed blade scalpel, a removable blade scalpel, a dissection probe, a pair of forceps, an eyedropper, and different types of scissors. Additionally, your instructor may have other tools that will be specific for your dissection. The first step in ensuring that your dissection is both safe and fun is protection. You may have noticed that I'm wearing some really smashing eye gear. That's not just for looks, but that's to protect my eyes from chemicals that may splash during the dissection. Additionally, I'm wearing a lab coat. That also would protect my clothes from chemicals that may stain them or damage them. Third and finally, I will also wear gloves during the dissection. This will ensure that my hands are safe from any chemicals used to preserve the dissection specimen. Step number two, safety during the dissection. The tools you may use during a dissection are non-discriminatory. What that means is that they will gladly cut through a brain, heart or your finger make sure that you're handling them with care. When you make an incision, be sure to make the cut away from your body and the body of others in your dissection group. Finally, do not ever hold the dissection specimen in your hand and dissect at the same time. That's just asking for trouble. The third and final step to ensure that you have a safe and fun dissection is the cleanup at the end. Once you've identified all the structures and had a really smashing time with your dissection specimen, it's time to clean it up. Carefully take your dissection tray and dispose of all dissection materials as directed by your instructor. If you have questions, just ask. Many things are not allowed to go down a common sink. The dissection tools you've used are now filled and cluttered with chemicals and animal tissue. Make sure that you rinse them under water, lay them out to dry flat on a paper towel. The scissors should be in the open position. This will ensure that rust does not form and these dissection tools can be used and enjoyed for many more dissections to come. Finally, remove the gloves your goggles and your laboratory coat. Make sure you wash your hands and clean your workstation properly as directed by your instructor. This again will ensure that we have a clean and happy workspace to come back to the next time we meet. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a smashing time with your upcoming dissection.